Hi everyone, Snapper here. Today we're going to look at adjusting the course setter and directional gyro for the Spitfire. As you can see here, I'm making my way through the menu to get to our controls. Now we assign either keyboard keys or joystick keys for the directional gyro decrease increase and the course setter decrease increase. Next, get in the game and build yourself a custom window of secondary controls. Give yourself a history of about a value of about 10 and more importantly a timeout of about 15 seconds. Building this window is completely optional. If you prefer you can just read the numbers straight off the instruments themselves but it is so much easier to see the numbers on the window come up. Give it a history of about 10 and a timeout of about 15 so the numbers will actually fade away shortly after you've read them and used them. I always first set my course setter and directional gyro when I'm lined up on the runway ready to go. Now, zoom in on your compass and using the keys you assigned for your course setter, align the red north on the azimuth with the little white T-bar within the compass itself and then Looking at your custom window, you see it's 252 degrees, which now you set on your directional gyro using the directional gyro keys that you assigned. Set that to 252. Good. Now you're good to go. So, let's get in the air. Okay, now that we're in the air, hit tab hit 7 and hit 1 and you'll see that we've got fighters bearing 120 range 15 miles using your directional gyro steer 120 now here's what takes some practice your compass and directional gyro go out of kilter quite frequently so look down at your compass and adjust it bringing the red north to the white cross and then you take that reading and bring it up to your directional gyro which in this case is 120 and then use the keys that you assign to adjust your directional gyro this has to be done frequently especially if you've done any course changes whatsoever so hitting tab 71 again I notice that the fighter bearing is now 150 and I again adjust my course setter and then my directional gyro and make the necessary changes in my course heading. By the way, tab 71 is far from perfect. Sometimes it works really well and other times it'll lead you on a wild goose chase. Now through the magic of video editing you'll see with tab 71 we're closing to 13 miles of the enemy fighter. More editing magic and we're within six miles. Make that five miles in closing. Some more fast forwarding and I've dropped down to the deck in pursuit in visual contact. No need to use tab 7-1 any longer. Here's where we left off at the start of this tutorial. So let's see what develops. Flash one bandit. This is Snapper, and on behalf of ATAG, I hope you found this tutorial useful, and thanks for watching.